yesterday. Um, a lot of people asked, so I figured I'd do a uh, just a quick little quick little thing on what the hell I'm doing out here right now. And um, uh, my plans, I got breaking the rain here this morning, poured last night, um, but uh, I'm gonna get her busy today, get done, and I'm actually gonna toss some steaks on the uh, master bill tonight. But check it out. We have our Kamado stand slash prep area slash center island slash bar. <laughs> so I figured I'd uh, try to utilize the space the best I could. You know what I mean? So um, still have all the finish work to do. Um, uh, like these here. Like I have, uh, can you see me? Yeah. Um, all this finished cedar right here. That's all, I'm trimming everything out, um, which is my next step. And then uh, I'm going to be doing all my sides over here. I'm gonna get everything all trimmed out. Um, then around front here, I'm going to be putting in a, uh, a floor here, a base floor just on this side. This side's gonna be completely um, walled off. All walled off here, walled off here. I'm gonna trim everything out again with the cedar. And then um, I'm gonna use this for my charcoal storage. Um, because I'm thinking I need to remove my bin box over there, um, which I use for charcoal storage right now, um, just to make room for the, uh, the Brazos that's coming. Um, I actually got a call from freight this morning, um, that it has arrived at the terminal here and it'll be here Monday morning. So... Um, I'm not going to have many days to play with it because I am taking off for vacation on uh, Wednesday night, late Wednesday night. So, but I'll be able to get a couple of days messing around with it. Um, and there might be actually something else added in the future, but uh, that's, that's another thing to come. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to probably turn this into uh, charcoal storage. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that'll work good. I, um, I got the Kamado in there. Still waiting, um, waiting for the parts they're sending me. I can take off my makeshift handle and uh, um, get my door on there and stuff like that. But I am going to get a couple of different stones. This is the one I had. Thought it was the right size. It is not. Um, but I just want it to cover a little more area, um, make it a little more stable. And to make it stable, I actually got it worked out, man. Check this out. These are the side brackets that they used to mount the shelves. So what I did is I ended up notching this out and I got these things in there and I'm going to do um, block brackets down here that I can just screw these things right to. So that thing is going to be locked down, man. It's not going to wiggle. It's not going to jiggle. It's not going to nothing. So I was actually pretty excited that I got that worked out in there. Um, that'll help tremendously just with everything, you know. So and then again, uh, I'm going to get this sided up with the cedar. Then I'll get it all trimmed out. Um, I have a, um, I had to maneuver some of this stuff, so I got a gap right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my trim along the side. Plus it keeps from um, food and whatever else getting dropped down here. Anyway, I did it on my last table as well. It's uh, best thing to do. Plus it'll hide my uh, hi. Oops, sorry. Uh, right here. Um, plus it'll hide my my little screw up. I'm not a carpenter, so I. No plans, I just kind of, I had an idea what I wanted and just started building it. So, um, that's just the way it is, man. But uh, you won't even see this. It'll be nice and it's all gonna be trimmed out. Uh, I'm gonna box out my legs down here. Uh, so that way they're, the lower end of these is gonna be secured to the table themselves. Um, even though this thing is, it's not going anywhere. I don't want them to be able to, you know, in case someone bumps them or hits them or kicks them, whatever. Um, that's gonna all be, I'm just going to connect them and then I'm going to box them out with cedar so they look nice. And then um, what I did here is the um, corrugated. I figured that'd be add a nice little aesthetic thing to it. Plus corrugated metal's cheap, man. I mean, I got a sheet for like 12 bucks. So I figured then that would add a little, you know, kind of break up the wood, man. There's a whole lot of wood going on in here. So I figured that would be cool. I'm sure it'll, it's going to patina, you know, it'll, it'll look good won't be so uh so shiny you know what i'm saying and i think that's pretty much it so i got this perfect height for my chairs so 
be able to sit here. My wife can sit here and critique me as I'm cooking. <laughs> but it'd be just be nice to be able to just chill right here. I'm actually back in the hut again instead of that table. Um, I took apart. I reused a lot of that wood also. Um, the um, center thing that I built for the Weber, um, the kettle over there. Um, that, um, I took that apart. Well, my son took it apart for me. And um, I used reused a lot of that wood also. Got a lot of leftovers over here and I still have a, a garage full. A lot of it's going back because um, I ended up using so much of my wood that I had existing that um, um, I didn't need a lot of it. So, but I have to build a raised garden bed for my wife, that was a deal. So, um, right over here underneath this uh, window, she wants a raised bed because our dogs want to eat all the flowers. So, and our our five month old Connie Corso is he's 70 pounds and he's already as high as my waist and he can get into anything. So I gotta make it raised um, because he loves to eat flowers. So, but um, that's about it. Um, yeah, I think I'll just, um, I think I'm gonna just lose this guy here. Um, that way I can, I can move everything down. I can put the old country here um, cornered wise. So I still have access to all the fireboxes. And then um, I could put the big Brazos um, up against the wall here where I have the most room on that back wall. Um, just kind of, I don't know, wrap it around, I guess. It's, that's the only thing I can think of right now, guys. But um, should work all right. Should work out all right. So, um, but, but yeah, anyway, that's about it. Um, like I said, you know, that's all. I used the crappiest uh, two by four um, just white wood junk. I think they're like a buck a piece. Uh, I mean, just framed everything in. And, um, even the top boards, while they are premium, they were still only like four something a piece, man. Home Depot. So, and they're nice, real nice grain to them. They'll look good once they're waterproof and stained. You know, I'll, I'm going to match everything. This is a, um, it's called, it's a bare waterproof UV, um, stain, you know, type deal. And, um, it's called tugboat. So I'm just going to, I'll do the whole thing tugboat, just like the rest of it. So it all matches and, um, that way it'll be waterproof sealed, you know? So, um, that's about it. guys. Um, oh, I am going to, uh, um, move my wood now. I'm actually going to take my splits. I'm going to use that for my splits now. Um, since I don't have the need for the, for the pellet bags. And then I'm going to put my garbage can back where it belongs. And then over here, I'm actually going to add a wash sink, uh, just a single hand wash sink. I'm gonna get that plumbed in, run the drain out. And I'm debating whether or not I'm just gonna get a small little beer fridge for in here. Um, I may just box it out, insulate it, you know, to help it during the hot summer days. Um, and um, put that right here with the sink and utilize, utilize this space a little bit. Um, that will have a little more counter up here you know, things like that. Um, I got my um, split here or my stump and I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna put it on here now that it'll fit. So that way I have some, uh, you know, some cutting space over here and I have, I could use my granite for, for the real hot stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it looks like I got a smudge or something going on. Sorry guys. But, um, but yeah, other than that, that's about it, man. That's what I've been doing. I'm gonna get this banged out today. Um, Marty on it. I've been doing it for a couple hours now. So I'm going to get this trimmed out. This is easy work now. All the trimming stuff, just wrapping, trimming. That's easy, man. It's done. That's, that's a, that's a, that's the quick stuff. And then, um, we're going to cook some steaks, man. So, um, oh, also today, um, Amazon says I should be receiving my new tadpole gasket, um, the fiberglass tadpole gasket, um, as well as the cement it's supposed to be here today. So I'm going to do a thing on, um, I had a couple people ask about upgrading the um, gaskets on the master belt because they are junk. So um, I'm going to rip those guys out. Um, there's just a couple of screws. They are, um, they're held in there with hardware. So that'll make it easy, but I am going to use some uh, um, high temp cement. The gasket's rated at a thousand degrees, fiberglass, wound, woven, nice, nice gasket. So, and it is the tadpole design. So I'm gonna run that in there. I'll use the set screws, but I'm also gonna cement it before I put it in there. So I'm gonna run a bead of cement in there. 
I'm gonna push that gasket all in there. I'll tie it all in with the screws and I know that thing will not go anywhere. And it will last a hell of a lot longer than that junk rubber gasket that they put on that thing, top and bottom. So um, I'm gonna do a video on that. And if I have the time today, I'm going to cut a piece of expanded metal for that lower grate. Um, so I don't lose so much of my lump when I shaky shaky, uh, you know, before you cook. So a lot of that small stuff, uh, I mean, not even too small, but some of the stuff that's still, that's burnable, man. That's, that's the good stuff to get it lit, um, falls through, you know, cause they have, I mean, them grates are like this wide. I mean, they're, you know, they expected people to use, uh, briquettes in there, you know, and I could see that. So, but I'm not doing that. So, um, hopefully I can get that in there. It's an ambitious day. As long as the rain holds off, I'll be all right. So, but other than that, guys, I don't know. Hope everybody's kicking. It's Friday. So, I think. Is it? Yeah, it's Friday today. So, that's it. That's all I got. Later.